Hey everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27, and I want to give you a quick demo to show you how uh, the Stripe SCA features in Launch27 are going to work. So a quick overview is that Stripe SCA stands for Strong Customer Authentication, and it's Stripe's solution for dealing with a new European uh, EU regulation that's basically um, trying to protect consumers so that when somebody tries to use their card, there's an extra authentication that needs to be done. Um, and that's going to be up to that customer's bank on whether or not that that the credit card is requires that extra authentication. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So basically, um, I'm going to show you how it looks on the booking form. So here I am. I've already filled out my booking form. Now what happens is I'm going to submit this form. And then this credit card that I'm using, it's a test card. I'm in my test environment. And what's going to happen is my bank is going to tell Stripe that, hey, Andrew needs to re-authenticate or authenticate this, this uh, credit card um, usage attempt and to make sure that that's really Andrew and not, a, not like a, um, a fee for somebody. So I'm going to click book now. And so the customer is going to see something like this if their bank requires the authentication. So for the purposes of, of the test and in Stripe's test environment, they just give you a button to say complete or fail it, um, you know, while you're trying to test things out. So, um, but in real life, I imagine there's going to be some sort of special kind of login page or something like that for the customer to enter in their, enter in their bank or credit card website credentials or something like that so that part uh we aren't sure about how they're going to do it but it's going to be up to the, the, the individual bank and stripe so anyways i'm going to click this button right and the form is going to submit like normal the booking is going to cre create it and i'm going to show you um next what happens when you or your staff try to make a charge or put that card on hold so one second all right, so here I am in um, the charges page. I'm gonna look for that booking, right? So if I were to put this on hold or on charge, what it's gonna tell me is that um, that customer needs to re-authenticate their credit card. So here you see that there's a new thing, a new flag here that says pending reauthorize, reauthorization of the card basically. It tells you that the customer's bank requires them to reauthorize the card before it can be charged. Uh, Launch 27 has emailed the customer asking them to reauthorize their card. Once they do so, the charge will be processed immediately. So I'm going to switch over to my Gmail and I will um, show you the email that the customer is going to get. So these are just some old ones. So here is the email. So Email is just going to look like however you set yours up to look like. It says, explains to them that your card that was used for your September 2nd service must be reauthorized before we can change it. This reauthorization is required by your bank and must be done to complete your payment for your service. In order to prevent discontinuation of service, please click the link below where you can securely reauthorize your card. So if I go there. I'm going to click this button. Now I have to re-enter the card information. And I'm going to see a similar pop-up. So I just hit complete. Let's hit this again. And it says that the card was successfully reauthorized. So if I go back to here, I just go to try to refresh for it, and you see that it's been charged. Um, so that's about it. The process is going to be similar for gift cards, except for when you're dealing with a gift card, um, of course, you're not going to charge them later. Those are charged immediately. So. Um, I'm not going to go through the example because it works exactly the same. So when, when they're checking out on the gift card form, all they have to do is enter in the, do the reauth, do the authorization process one time and click the buy now for the gift card. And then it goes through 
no need for them to, to come back later and then do it all over again. That's only when you're trying to charge at a later date or on hold. And, and again, this is only for those Europe, those customers that are based in Europe whose bank requires this extra step. So it's not going to affect anybody outside of Europe. And anybody in Europe, if your bank does not require this, then you won't have to do it. But uh, we ended up putting it in there because Stripe was uh, putting a big push on this. And um, this should take care of our European-based customers. So if you have any questions, please contact us at support at launch27.com. Thanks.